My mum was 82 and living on her own. Uh, she had been struggling physically and had been having carers in to help her, uh, getting washed and dressed and various other things. She did have a problem with a leg ulcer which wasn't healing and the GP uh, had her admitted to hospital so that they could try and get her leg to heal. There was two assistants there, one left, the other one helped mum get undressed, sat her on a chair and uh, mum had trouble with her vision, she had trouble hearing so she removed her her glasses, she would have to remove her glasses to have a shower, remove her hearing aids and the main reason to have the shower was to try and clean her leg. It's alleged the assistant said that mum didn't want any help so she left my mum on her own in the shower. After that there was a, a clatter and mum had fallen from the chair onto the hard floor and during that time, at that fall she broke her hip and she broke her uh, wrist. Mum was able to, unable to get out of bed, she couldn't feed herself um, and she was really in a, in, a, in a bad way. She had to have an oxygen mask and to, from having been able to live independently to not be able to get out of bed was, was really distressing and she was obviously in a lot of pain. We felt that something should be, be done about it and we made a complaint to the hospital uh, about what had happened. We then waited about three months. The hospital carried out what they called a serious untoward incident inquiry. I checked to uh, see what the options were on taking the, the case further, uh, more so that maybe to be taken seriously by the hospital. And I found a solicitor, um, Wright Hassel, and I, I read about Jeanette Wyman and thought that she would be an appropriate person to act for us. I looked at various solicitors, um, but I felt some of them didn't have the expertise that we were going to, to need. And Jeanette seemed to have uh, the experience in dealing with uh, medical negligence claims. It was a very emotional time. Uh, we were obviously upset about my mum. My mum was still suffering and we felt rather bitter towards the hospital. Uh, I spoke to Jeanette and found her very, very approachable very sympathetic. She didn't use any jargon. If there was something that I didn't understand, she was at pains to explain it to me. I felt that I was dealing with a human and not just some professional who, who, didn't, who didn't care. Jeanette was absolutely outstanding. She, we were never restricted in the amount of time that she gave us. It's thanks to Jeanette that she did keep going and we did win our case.